What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Deadlock video. And today is an exciting day, my friends, because I am doing my very first Deadlock Hero Guide, and I hope to do many more. So today, for the first one, I will be going over Kelvin. I'm gonna be talking about his role, how easy he is to play, like if you're a newer player, his abilities, what builds are good, and kind of what his role is in the laning phase. All right, but before we jump into this, if you're new here, hi, my name's Chris. I also go by Bootman. And yeah, I have been absolutely addicted to Deadlock and I love making content for it. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I got a bunch of cool videos planned, not just guides, but also news and updates and all that kind of good stuff. And you don't want to miss it. All right. So anyways, let's break down Kelvin. So first off, Kelvin is somebody I played against many times and he would wreck me. And I'm like, you know what? I got to learn this hero. And the first few times I played him, I was terrible. I was like, I don't understand this. I don't know how people are good with it. And I just kept at it. And now he was probably one of my best heroes that I play. So I want to break it down for you. All right. So first off, let's talk about his role. And real quick, for those of you who are newer to Deadlock, there's not too many like defined roles. So this is kind of more like play style. And I do want to say that there are many different builds and many different ways to play different heroes. This is my personal favorite and what I've seen a lot of success with. All right. So anyways, the way I personally build and play Kelvin is he is kind of support, kind of healer, all right? But he can also get a lot of frags, okay? So with his uh, his ultimate ability, it's this ice dome, and I'll dive more into that in a minute, but it heals. And early game, you can heal as well by picking up a few items, which I will be going over pretty soon. But he can also support because he can slow um, the opponents down so your team can come in and get some frags. For example, I was just playing with a buddy who was playing Abrams and Abrams and Kelvin was a nasty combo. I've also seen Kelvin with Bebop do some crazy things. Bebop hooks him in, Kelvin starts slowing. So yeah, he's not always just, you know, out there getting the frags and diving into fights, even though he can, but I like to play him in kind of like a support role, but I've had some pretty high frag games with Kelvin. So as far as ease of play goes, even though like, I don't want you to be scared off. I know I said it was a little hard for me at first to kind of get into my groove with Kelvin, but I will say that I do believe that he is one of the easier characters to learn. Once you kind of get his build down and understand some of the stuff that I'm gonna go over, like you're gonna be miles ahead of where I was when I first started playing with him. So I would say like how difficult he is, like if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, like difficulty, maybe like a two or three, okay? So definitely uh, a, a hero that you could pick up if you are one of the newer players, all right? So let's break down his abilities, okay? So first off, we have his frost grenade, all right? So the frost grenade, you throw a grenade that explodes in the cloud of freezing ice, damaging and slowing enemies. So this is a great ability, especially early on. I typically level this first, this is my first ability on the lane, because you can support your lane partner uh, by harassing, all right? You can get in there and you just toss grenades, kind of chip away at the enemy while your teammate picks up the last hits, gets some denies. And yeah, it's, it's just really good to take down damage. After I get this ability, I kind of switch what I'm leveling up, but I'll explain that in just a minute. So the next one is the ice path. So Kelvin creates this floating trail of ice. And yeah, basically it increases your movement speed, but it can also uh, get higher or lower with shift and control. Uh, that's the default binds for it. And this is great. So you don't really need to build speed on Kelvin because you have the ice path. So you'll usually like level this last, but it gives you some speed. It'll help you get out of situations. It'll also help you engage. It'll help you transition from lane to lane. Like if your team needs help, you can get over there pretty fast just by doing this. So you can get your, your sprint boots and everything a little bit later just by simply using this ability. But this ability is also great for that early laning phase when you're harassing as well. Once we pick up the freeze ray or the Arctic beam, if you will, which I'll go over next, you can do some really interesting things in the laning phase where you you pop up on your ice path, you freeze people, you jump down, and you do all sorts.
sorts of harassing with it. So it's a great ability for a variety of reasons, but it's more utility. So yeah, you can level this last. All right, next up is the Arctic Fiend. Okay, this is the piece de resistance. All right, this is your bread and butter with the build that I'm gonna go over, okay? So this is a cold energy beam that you shoot out in front of you, damaging targets and building up movement and fire rate slow, okay? So check this out. The reason this is so good is because it slows, but also when you max this out to uh, the third tier, it is, it says fires two additional Arctic beams toward enemies within 15 meters of the last target hit. So basically this beam bounces around and this is great for a variety of reasons. One in team fights, all right, the other one is clearing out lanes. Like if you're transitioning lanes or a lane needs to get pushed back, anything like that, you could just wipe out creeps because your Arctic beam just starts bouncing off of them. But this is the ability that we're gonna kind of build around with our different um, items and everything. Like this is the thing that you want. And I'll explain how these, how these items really help out your beam. So last up, we have the ice dome, kind of like I was explaining. This creates a dome that traps the enemies and it can also um, put your teammates in there as well. And it has like an insane, insane amount of healing. But this is an impenetrable dome. So the other team can't shoot it down or anything. It just is there. So it helps you regenerate health and your enemies are slowed. So basically you trap them in here and then you're slowing them, but also if you're using the Arctic beam, it's slowing them even more. And did I forget to mention that the frost grenade, when you get on the second tier, it heals you, all right? So when you trap them in the dome, you're slowing them, you're doing damage, you're healing yourself, it's crazy. So the way I've been using the dome, it was kind of tricky to get used to at first. I was like making my team mad a lot. Um, something that I'll typically do is if I have somebody who's like a brawler, like Abrams or something like that, I will just follow right behind him. So when he attacks somebody, I'll come in right behind him and then I'll pop up that dome, okay? But this dome, and I don't think people use this enough, is also just a great oh crap button. All right, because if if like another if the other team like jumps you and it's unexpected, you can toss up this dome. They can't get in. You can heal up pretty much back to full health. This gives your team time to rotate over you, over to you, and help you out. Or even if you do die, you have delayed the other team while they're sitting there waiting to kill you while your team rotates over, and then typically they could take over the fight. So this is a great delay move. And like I said, I don't see nearly enough people using it in that way. A lot a lot of people just forget. They're only using it for like offensive strategies, but you can definitely use this as defense. And I absolutely love doing that because my team just comes in and clean stuff up. And best case scenario, you survive the whole deal. All right, you just pop out of that dome and you start blasting people with your freeze ray. All right, so let's run through Kelvin's build. So if you watched my beginner's guide, which you should, if you didn't, go back and watch it. It is very useful. You can go to browse builds and check out community builds. So I like to use this one right here, the anti-global warming guy. And yeah, I just wanna run through this real quick. So early game, we are going healer, and it is fantastic, all right? If you're on the lane with somebody like Dynamo, you're just healing each other. It can also work with McGinnis. But anyways, you can support your lane mate or you're just healing yourself, and it's great. When you don't have to run back to base, staying on lane is super important early game. So what I like to do, I like to save up 1250, if possible, to get the health Nova, and then you can also get healing right as a backup heal. And then I shoot for healing booster as well to make my heals heal even more, okay? Now, remember, with this build, we are trying to go crazy with our ice beam. So, Mystic Reach is one of the other first items that I get, all right? But the other items on this list that are really going to help out your ice beam are Duration Extender, Improved Cooldown, Improved Reach, Superior Cooldown, and Superior Duration. These, a lot of these items work on most of your abilities. Some of them are just for one specific ability, like you imdo uh, a certain ability, and I just toss them all on the ice beam. But anyways, you are making it so your ice beam goes further, it lasts longer, and it is just something that will annoy the crap out of your opponents, okay? So heal bane is something that I am like, it depends, it's very situational. If I'm facing uh, someone who's an Abrams on the other team that's doing very well, or anybody else that's really like building up like lifesteal or like spirit lifesteal, 
I get Heal Bane, so when I trap them in my bubble, their healing isn't as great. Rescue Beam, I'm sure it's a great item. I'm just personally not somebody who can manage a lot of active items. So Healing Right and Health Nova is kind of like the extent of what I do. But Rescue Beam is pretty good. You can uh, pull a teammate out if they're being like CC'd or they're being jumped and all that kind of good stuff, but this is just something that I, I bought like once, and that was about it. So as I mentioned, with the Ice Path, you don't really need to uh, focus on your speed too much. A lot of the times, I'll get Sprint Boots, maybe like halfway through, like right after the laning phase, I'll probably grab some Sprint Boots, but it's not something that I always upgrade to Enduring Speed. Typically, as you upgrade your Ice Path, or even just one or two levels of the Ice Path, you're going to be going fast enough to transition lanes and get in and out of fight pretty quickly so I don't focus too much on the speed now for the monster mode this is where you got to kind of choose wisely because as you can see there are a ton of purple items here you only get four flex slots so usually what I'm doing is focusing on these top three right here all right now fortunately mystic vulnerability uh, upgrades to escalating exposure so it's just one slot but this is huge okay so as you can see with escalating exposure dealing spirit damage apply stacking spirit amp that increases your spirit damage to the target so when you are trapping someone in the ice dome or you just have a nice little ice beam going on somebody for a while it is just increasing damage over time and it is phenomenal all right i also really love torment pulse it's probably one of my favorite items in the game for you know uh heroes like kelvin who are going to be trapping people and getting in there close i also love this item on abrams but it periodically deals uh spirit damage to the closest to uh enemies nearby so it's just like this kind of like every every few seconds or every couple seconds it's just going off just bump 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 and it's just it's just ticking people down so when you're trapping them in the ice dome you're healing damaging them and uh you're just damaging them with the with the torment pulse as well now something i do want to say i think this right here is one of the most underrated items in the game it is the high velocity mag all right so it is something that really helps out somebody like kelvin like if you look at his uh gun like as it shoots it kind of like arcs and it's kind of slow it's like thump 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 there's a few heroes where their gun is just naturally slow like kelvin and warden it is just a very slow item but anyways the high velocity mag is something new that they added just recently and check this out Let, let's let's see how fast this shoots so as you can see, this thing shoots a lot faster. So this is great early game if you have the opportunity, if you want to uh, do a little bit more poke damage, if you're able to be a little bit more aggressive, definitely think about getting this high velocity magazine. It's only 500 souls. And again, I think this is one of the most underrated items in the game. Since it came out, Like I, I get it all the time and I don't see many people utilizing it. So consider it. Um, on the build, there's like not really any, there's no weapons on here. So uh, yeah, if anything, you're getting like one item and it's the high velocity mag. So lastly, just to wrap this thing up, I do just wanna emphasize the laning phase. The laning phase is just one of the most important parts of the game. It really lays the foundation for the rest of the match. So again, when you're on lane with somebody else, I like to take Kelvin and play more of a support role, somebody who is harassing and doing damage. I utilize my ice grenade, and as I can, I start getting the uh, the ice beam and then one level of the ice path. So I can start popping up over the little bridge, I can start uh, freezing people, and my lane mate, they can either get last hits or they can help me uh, take people out and get those early kills. A lot of times with that ice beam, it reaches so far, you can be hitting them as this person falling back and trying to get behind their tower but your ice beam can re reach them especially if you kind of advance on them you get on the stairs and with the the ice path you can get in there you might take a, a few hits from either creeps or uh, the tower but you can get out very quickly but he is great for early game harass if you're on a lane solo you might want to just kind of focus more on getting your last hits and your denies maybe a little bit of harassment but kelvin really shines in the early game when you're on a lane with somebody else especially if they need to get some farm or they could do a lot of damage and take advantage of you slowing people down 
All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this guide. Kelvin is definitely one of my favorite heroes. Let me know down in the comments below, who else would you like to see guides on? I've been playing a lot of different heroes, improving my game, trying to figure them out so I can make more of these guides. So let me know who you want to see next down in the comments below. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.